Hello, Left 4 Dead 2 modders. This is Dr. House once again. And I know a lot of you like custom music mods, but the problem a lot of people seem to run into is either your music cut short before it's finished, or it doesn't loop properly when, it's, uh, when it gets to the end. So today I'm going to show you how to do custom music on Left 4 Dead 2 and have it play all the way through and loop when it gets to the end. And for my method, you will need two programs, which I hopefully have linked in the description, Audacity and Goldwave. Now, obviously, you're going to need some kind of music to uh, use, so for the purpose of this tutorial, I'm just going to use something that I created a while ago. It's some um, gangster black metal. Alright, once you have the song that you want converted, open up Audacity and just drag it in there. And don't mind me, I'm just increasing the volume here. Don't really have to pay any attention to that. But when you first get your song in Audacity, just hit this arrow up here and split stereo to mono because Left 4 Dead 2's music is in the mono channel. And if you keep it in stereo, it will tend to lag the game horribly. But uh, yes, split the channels to mono. And uh, usually when you split these, things will be a bit too loud. So what I usually do is Control A to select all and lower the volume here by 5.0. Now again, make sure that you've selected all by hitting Control A. Click up here on Tracks and Mix and Render. And this will combine both the left and right channels into one. Now just give a quick listen to make sure that it's not too loud. Okay, when you're satisfied with the volume, just export it as a WAV file right here. WAV. The tags are not important, you can just clear them or whatever. We're done in Audacity. So open up Gold Wave. And take the file you just exported from Audacity and drag and drop it into Goldwave. All we need to do here is set the Q points. And this uh, makes... Uh, I don't really know what I'm doing with this program, but... Uh, this makes sure that the game will play your music all the way to the end, and when it reaches the end of the song, it'll actually start over again until you change the track. So, simply hit Q's up here, new, and name this one Q underscore start. Hit new again, name it Q underscore end, and be sure to click at finish this time. So now we've got a Q at the very start of the song and at the very end. We're done with gold waves, so all you need to do now is save as a new wave file. Wave file, keep that in mind. You can close. <clears throat> you can close Gold Source. Gold, <laughs> gold Source. You can close Gold Wave. And that's uh, really all you need to do on the audio side. Now, how do we get it in game working correctly? Well, um, as you can see, in my Left 4 Dead 2 add ons folder, I have created a folder called Doctor's Music. This can be whatever the name of. whatever name you want your add on to be. But what is important is that you have an add on info.txt. And what's really important is that you have a sound folder in here with another folder inside. You can't just place a music file in the sound folder because it won't play that way. But if you put another folder within, say like sound slash asshole or sound slash jackoff, it'll work perfectly fine. In my case, I've created a directory called uh, Sound Music TRH for the Reptile House, in case anyone's wondering. And in here, I'm just going to drop the final WAV file we exported from Gold Wave, called Source, into here. And uh, now, uh, before we even make this into a VPK, what we have to do is go into Left 4 Dead 2. And keep in mind, you don't start a map yet. You just open up the console and hit sound, build sound cache for directory, and type the name to your custom music's uh, add-on folder. So in this case, it's add-on slash doctor's music. When the console pops up again, you can hit exit. 
And as you can see, if you go into the sound folder, there's a sound cache file in here. Now we can actually compile this into a VPK. And uh, if you want to know the way that I do it, first uh, make sure that you've downloaded the Left 4 Dead authoring tools here in Steam. Here in Steam uh, tools. And then it should be somewhere around here originally. I love it at you authoring tools, I mean. And, uh, yes, make sure you start up, like, Hammer Editor or uh, MDL Viewer, just anything to make sure that the files are created. But uh, you'll go to Common, uh, Steam Apps Common, Left 4 Dead 2 Bin, and there's a little exa in here called uh, vpk.exa. And uh, just right-click it and create a shortcut or send to desktop. And all you would do then is get your add-ons folder, drop the shortcut in there, and now, from now on, whenever you want to compile a folder into a VPK, you can just drag and drop that onto the shortcut. But, uh, yeah, that should be all you need to know, so uh, I hope this has helped.